When tech executive Sam Hughes has an onstage meltdown that gets him fired from his hot technology startup, he suddenly sees the Bay Area's tech bubble in a new cynical light. Just as he's wondering if his career and marriage might both be over at 40-something, Sam inadvertently discovers suspicious financials at his former company. It's just part of a book trailer for a corporate thriller. It's written by a former Appleton resident. Yeah, and now Mike Trigg is back in the Valley to speak at the Fox Cities Book Festival. Good morning. Welcome home. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited to be here. All right, so you lived in Appleton as a child, graduated yeah. from East. Yeah. Where does your journey take you from there that ultimately led to BitFlip? Yeah, well, I um, went to undergrad, at, graduated at Northwestern University in Chicago, um, then went to Washington, D.C., and eventually made my way out to California. Uh, when we called it the information superhighway. This was back in the mid-90s. Mm -hmm. uh, I was super excited to pursue a career in technology and did that for over 20 years. Um, I worked at big companies, small companies. I founded companies. I invested in companies. I was an executive. I did the whole thing. And then I kind of did this pivot and decided I wanted to get into writing full time. Yeah. Well, the book is fiction, but I'd have to imagine there's a lot of true nuggets tucked in there. There are definitely some nuggets in there. Um, that was sort of the origin of the book, is I would get home at night and I would share stories with my wife about funny things that happened during my day, and she would say, you should write a book, you should write a book. And it sort of went from a bunch of little anecdotes and then eventually turned into a full novel. Do we have to be technology savvy to no. understand this book? Okay, so then walk us through the story. We yeah. heard a little bit about it. Yeah, so um, sometimes people compare the book to John Grisham's The Firm. It sort oh, of has yeah. similar yeah. things where it's about an executive, Sam Hughes, who's at a startup company, and uh, he, like I, had this ambition to be successful in, a, in, in Silicon Valley, and he sort of inadvertently discovers some potential fraud going on in the company. And it becomes kind of a moral play of what is he going to do about that exactly? Is he going to expose it? Is he going to try to clean it up or cover it up? Um, and he kind of progresses down this slippery slope that gets him into sort of deeper and deeper trouble as he goes, both in his professional life and in his personal life. Well, we're so excited to have you back in town for the Fox Cities Book Me Festival. Too. What can people expect from your presentation there? Well, it's actually going to be quite different. I've been on a book tour. I've done venues from Seattle to New York and San Francisco, all over the place. Most of those have been conversations, like the one we're having today yeah. about the book. This one's going to be a presentation of my sort of journey as an author. Um, the term bit flip refers to sort of a change of heart. That's what the character goes through, and that's kind of what I went through. And so I'm going to talk about you know, kind of my career in tech, how I became a little disillusioned with the tech industry, mm -hmm. and ultimately during COVID decided to pivot my career completely uh, <laughs> and become a, a writer full time. So I'll talk all about that. Yeah. I feel like that industry too is just kind of a mystery to most of us, right, who don't live there. Yeah. Can we get a peek into behind the scenes of Silicon Valley? Yeah, and... it is. I mean, I, I sort of say, you know, a spy thriller often is written by an ex-CIA person. Sure. Legal mm -hmm. thrillers are written by ex-lawyers. Um, I wanted to write this story because I didn't see a lot of fiction about the technology industry. There's a lot of nonfiction, there's a lot of media coverage about um, tech, but I didn't really read very many novels that sure. I thought were authentic to that world. And so I tried to strike this balance where it felt you know, authentic to insiders, but wasn't inaccessible to outsiders right. as well. The themes of the story are really all about you know, ambition and sacrifice and, and personal journey and um, you know, morality, and, and so those themes are sort of universal. You know, don't, sure. you don't need to be a tech person to, to get it, yeah. basically. Well, whether you are an engaged reader or a potential author, maybe you're aspiring to be just like Mike, you can see his presentation Friday, October 14th from 6 to 7 p.m. at Stone Arch Brew Pub. That is on Old Oneida Street in Appleton, of course. And if you'd like the whole schedule for the festival, check out foxcitiesbookfestival.org. Congrats to you, and Thank enjoy you so your much. time at home. Thank you so much. Say hi to Dad, too. Dad drove him here today, <laughs> yeah, so exactly. that's very nice. Chauffeur. <laughs>